Anthony Gucciardi joins me for this exclusive Intel Hub News Brief. There's a lot of talk about what's happening with the radiation levels in Indiana. Tim Flanagan, the director of the Radiation Network, says, oh, it's just a glitch, but is there more to this story? And if so, Anthony is on top of it, ladies and gentlemen. Anthony, welcome to the Intel Hub News Brief. Of course, you work with NaturalSociety.com. Why don't you go ahead? It's June 11th, 2012, and tell me what we know at this point about this situation. Thanks for having me on the show. Well, basically, just give a little bit of a rundown. Um, Some concerns were raised initially when the EPA was showing an increased amount of radiation uh, near the border of Michigan and Indiana. So the average levels are between 5 and 6 counts per minute, um, CPM. But what it was reading was about 7,139 CPM, which is extremely elevated. And then the EPA went ahead and took down their measurement tools offline. Um, thankfully, we've hmm. had some tech-savvy individuals go on, and we've captured some screenshots of the escalating levels, um, not even the levels that happened at the very end, but some of the escalating levels that we have online that uh, many people have undoubtedly seen. They've been shared about 20,000 times yes, now. Yes, they, they are going absolute viral. What's their justification for these uh, systems going down? Well, they've said nothing. The Radiation Network, however, who um, confirmed the readings, is a private institute. A number of private institutes uh, confirmed the readings. The Radiation Network says it was just a fluke in the system, and they immediately just right. took it down, which doesn't make any sense because if you think about it, if all these individual um, measurement stations are, are taking readings of astronomical radiation levels, wouldn't they investigate it first instead of just immediately taking it down? Yeah, you would and, think. And even if, let's say, for example, it is a fluke, right, um, there's too many other incidents and uh, ongoing events that are raising concerns that the mainstream media is just, they're only reporting on the fact that the radi- radiation network said it was a fluke. But we have um, we have film and we have, we have recordings of everything, thousands of eyewitness accounts on these mainstream media um, sources and on Reddit and everything like that of helicopters, um, A-10 Thunderbolts, other military personnel, Department of Homeland Security hazmat fleets, all going towards the scene. Um, so obviously something's going on. There's explosions that are way deeper than fireworks. They're continuous. Um, for example, one Michigan, uh, one Michigan Reddit, uh, resident reported when they read this mainstream article that said it was nothing. Here's a quote. Explosions everywhere. Large helicopters heading away from local Air Force Base flying towards scene of explosions. These explosions are seriously consistent. Loud booms for the last hour or more. And this was uh, my time. It was around 2 a.m., so <laughs> I don't think fireworks are going off at 2 a.m. I don't know what they'd be celebrating. Sure. And, of course, you have to wonder why such a response. Now let's go back to Tim Flanagan at the Radiation Network because immediately he comes out and says it's a glitch. And then he goes on to say that, well, there's background levels of radiation all the time and, and the same rhetoric that we've heard from the EPA and others that, oh, including Ann Coulter of all people, that, oh, yeah, it's safe radiation, when the reality, which I'm sure you know, Anthony, is that the only safe radiation is no radiation. Radiation is unsafe at any dose, period. I mean, CT scans now are tripling um, the risk of brain cancer in children. They're warning doctors to only do it if absolutely necessary. I saw that. Dental scans um, are just destroying people's brains. And also, um, if it was a fluke, then we really need to ask why other states are experiencing elevated levels as well. Um, we have here a Twitter feed, constant updates from the Longmont Radiation uh, Station. And ever since 11.45 a.m. on thurs- last Thursday, which is when all this began, um, the radiation levels can be seen at 7, 8, 6, 5, you know, 9, 10 times over natural radiation. And that's all the way in Chicago. So, I mean, that's really far away. Um, the owner went on, uh, Joey Stanford, and he said that it's really concerning to him. He's been up, you know, that guy stayed up all night as well. Just researching this saying, what is going on here? Um, we have some postings on law enforcement websites. Here's one from Chicago that states, we've been encountering some high readings at the labs here. And this was before the whole entire event became public. Uh, there's countless forum posts. I've had at least at least 100 submissions from people just finding organic um, sources saying that we've been finding some increased levels. You know, my Geiger counter has been off the charts. Now, the cause of this is debatable. Um, it's, it could be potentially a fracking incident because there was radon gas 
emissions going off as well. Um, some people are saying it's solar in nature. Whatever it was, it certainly piqued the interest of government officials to send over um, military aircrafts and DHS hazmat teams. Yeah, you have to wonder when, when you have such a response, what exactly is taking place? And why is it there's not a, a more defined rationale provided by the government about any of this? What is the government's rationale up to date? What, what have we heard from the EPA and from the military and those sorts of sources? All we've heard from mainstream media, period, is that it was a fluke, a technical glitch. There's been no talk about the helicopters. In fact, my story is the only one that even talks about that that's been getting into the mainstream media because it's been shared so much. I know you and others have been reporting it, which is amazing. But unfortunately, they're not even, they're not even considering this. They're being forced to pick up on some of these stories because it's getting so many shares. Right. Um, and, uh, I mean, even some of the most mainstream people have been contacting me saying, you know, uh, we'd like to get an interview. But I guarantee you if I go on there, they're just going to say, well, it's obviously fake. It's obviously a <laughs> fluke. Um, but uh, here we also have a major nuclear base reportedly running a containment exercise in which they would um, do a simulation of a nuclear event in which they had to contain the nuclear um, radiation at this, on the exact same day. This was the same day, right. Yeah. It, it's the same sort of coincidence that we seem to find – uh, here and there, you know, there was that drill that happened in Mexico not too long ago. Happened to be on the same day a major earthquake hit. They always uh, perform drills on the same day of an incident. Sure, and that's the same sort of uh, pattern again and again. So there's definitely something to that. What was that nuclear facility involved with that? That was the Air Force, uh, M-I-N-O-T Air Force Base. Uh, I'm not entirely sure how to say it. It's, uh, it was in North Dakota. North Dakota. And they, it reportedly involved the use of B-52 aircrafts. And um, we've had a lot of military personnel sending in um, a bunch of information about how they were running um, military containment exercises as well. And that um, due to the fact that there was a spike in the radiation, they all thought it was part of the exercise. And they told many of the bases nearby that it was part of the exercise. Is this real time? Is this live? <laughs> yes. It, it's almost reminiscent of 9-11. Jeez. <laughs> yeah. We're getting uh, more emails than I've ever gotten. And I've done a lot of stories on Monsanto and everything. More emails than I've ever gotten from people on the ground telling me, um, you know, bizarre stories like this, uh, the shaking booms, which is perhaps the, perhaps the most interesting part of all of this. For everyone that says, you know, it's just it's just a technical error, uh, et cetera, et cetera, that that's fine, but how do you explain this? Shaking boom snapped 60-foot trees in half days before Indiana radiation Holy incident. Holy smokes. So after there's a series of explosions, how shaking rumbles, and even large trees being, quote, completely snapped in half on a clear day just days before the event. And then there's a video. A, na a local news reported it. This, there's a tree. Literally, the, the ground started to rumble and shaking a house like an earthquake, and the tree just snapped in half right at the exact spot near the border of Indiana and Michigan, just days before the elevated radiation levels, military aircraft, and loud explosions. Is this on YouTube, that footage? Yes. It's also you know on my site and others. It's been picked up by just about everybody. But um, that, <laughs> that, that sounds like a fracking incident or some type of yeah. underground um, incident of another nature. But, I mean, look at Fukushima. They always downplayed Fukushima and said it was nothing, and then independent reports show that uh, the, the radiation levels were two or three times what they even mentioned conservatively, and then the operators just came out a few weeks ago and said that, yeah, it was about 2.5 times as much as we stated, and 70-plus percent went to the Pacific Ocean. Yeah, and, then and the it's FDA, still, yeah, it's they still say it's being safe. flooded in, in tons and tons, I forget the exact uh, amount of water that has the cesium and all these dangerous nuclear particles. It, it, it really is a mess. Let's talk Fukushima for just a moment uh, since we have you. What's happening with reactor number four? I know there's a lot of talk about it possibly going into China syndrome. Yeah, and, and they're not going to ever warn anyone about it. They're not going to say anything. They're going to say, keep, keep living in Tokyo. You know, nothing is wrong. Um, it's just it's consistent denial, which is what we're seeing here. Because even if it is a technical failure, you know, which is potentially possible, but would be very bizarre with all these incidents surrounding it, um, why is the government going there? It's just like Fukushima. Um, you know, a report comes out that tens of thousands are dying from the radiation. The government says nothing. It says it's okay to eat um, fish with hundreds of times, thousands of times elevated radiation. It's okay to drink milk. Um, so really, you have to wonder. This is a government that is not warning citizens about Fukushima. 
why would they warn us about this incident, whether or not it's even real? Let's say it's a technical failure. There should still be some type of alert that goes off when there's 7,000 um, CPM, which is enough to cause radiation sickness and ultimately death, especially in newborns. Why is there not anything, you know? The, um, it took investigative reporters to figure it sure. out in the first place. Yeah, yeah. people like uh, yourself, Loren Murray, the list goes on. Okay, uh, let's, in the final moments we have you here, let's just uh, revisit the loud booms that we had reported in Wisconsin a number of different months ago. It, it's a bit reminiscent uh, when I hear this uh, Indiana situation uh, of those booms. Absolutely. And also we have, um, there's a lot of unexplained um shaking sounds and everything like that, but we have some evidence that indicates that it could be fracking due to the fact that um, little, very little known, we had to really look into this, there was a, a similar thing in Nixon, um, uh, which was a fracking explosion near San Antonio. So basically what happened was um, underground they were performing fl- uh, some fracking and it, it just blew up and, um, and no one knew what it was until later it came out in the news. Then in Pennsylvania, the same thing happened, and it started um, rumbling and then started spewing huge quantities of chemicals in the surrounding area, contaminating water. Um, those are some of those videos that you see, the light, there's uh, tap water on fire. Well, this is this is right about where huh. that happened. Um, but see, around here, when this happened, they started evacuating citizens afterwards, um, saying that the fracking explosion was releasing radon gas. It could be releasing seriously deadly chemicals. But we're seeing nothing... Like that over here, um, there's been confirmed reports that there is increased radon gas, which is carcinogenic and deadly, um, yet no one is saying anything about that. Everyone in the mainstream and everything is focusing purely on the fact that the radiation network said it was um, a technical error. But they don't even talk about how the EPA pulled down the statistics. They don't even mention that. Or the radon gas. So, I mean, uh, there's been no serious alert or anything. Wow. Continued uh, incompetency again and again. Uh, that's why we need people in the alternative media to step up to the plate, Anthony. And you're doing that at your website. Uh, again, you write with naturalsociety.com. Of course, we publish your stuff at theintelhub.com. Uh, you have a great source of information there, and you do great work. Um, this this article has gone viral, and for good reason. People want to know what the hell is going on with this. Yeah, this is probably one of our most viral articles, and we've released a lot of stuff in the field of natural health and everything, but this is just really concerning. It's received uh, just about 500,000 views each on some of these articles, and like I said, it is breaking into the mainstream, which is excellent. They can't continue to ignore it much longer, um, despite you know uh, tons and tons of pieces. I'd say there's a ratio of 1,000 to 1 of mainstream pieces to alternative pieces where they just repost the blog post on Radiation Network saying it's a fluke. They don't even look into any of this stuff. And the only way yeah. it's going to be covered and we're going to get a real explanation is if we keep hammering it. Seal we have way. to. Absolutely. All right, Anthony, uh, let me look here. Anything else that we didn't cover? Because I want to make sure that we uh, be as comprehensive as possible in the small amount of time we have with you. Well, I believe that's that's basically it for now. Um, some people are saying it could be a result of a solar incident due to solar r- radiation having similar effects on the counters. Um, basically, right now, we're not entirely sure. There's a lot of theories. You know, some extremely conservative, some uh, some on the left field, but um, it's, it appears that it, it's most likely something to do with fracking based on the shaking booms. Um, it could also have something to do with some type of underground facility. Um, for now, we're not going to get answers until we keep pushing it, and I've called up um, local authorities in the area, filed fire departments, police departments, everything like that, and what's interesting is I'll call the same place multiple times, and I'll get different answers every single time. Uh, I called one of the nearby stations, and they told me that nothing happened, and that it was a conspiracy theory, and then I called back again, and they said that it was there was elevated levels, uh, the guy's really concerned, um, or exam- for another example, I called the fireplace, the apartment nearby. One of them told me it was absolutely nothing. Another told me that they were having calls about the explosions, um, and they were monitoring it, and they were really concerned. So it's just... It's complete chaos, and that's the way they like it. So no real information gets out. Everyone, exactly. everyone's busy arguing about it. Yeah, divide and conquer, uh, and out of the chaos they get their own order, uh, and so forth. All right, Anthony, thank you very much for covering this. We'll be in touch with you as uh, you get any sort of updates on this story that people want to hear about. Yep. Thanks a lot for having me. All right. Okay, Anthony, take care. Thanks again. Yep. Thanks a lot. All right. Bye.